little story here. So a little bit of something goofy happened with this video. Um, my mic wasn't turned on. So you're going to hear a little bit of some off music stuff going on or some off vocals or off things. That's because my mic was not turned on. I had to borrow the footage from Evie's recording and splice the audio in. So it is going to sound a bit off, kind of like what it was in the previous episode. Um, in this episode, however, I had two evolutions at the start of it. Juniper evolved into a sawsbuck and Boots evolved into a um, go-goat. So, yay! Two evolutions in one. Awesome. I wish I was able to keep the audio for these, but like I said before, my mic was funky and it was shut off. So, yeah. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Have a good one. Hello everyone, Story Wolf here, and welcome back to the Soul Lock Nuzlocke uh, for Pokemon Violet. I'm here with Evie. Hello. Hello. And today we are actually going to be facing off against our, uh, what is that, third or fourth gym? Fourth, I think. I think it's fourth gym. Fourth gym. It's going to be the water gym regardless. So, we're excited. We're finally getting up to this point. We got our Pokemon leveled up pretty quickly because we only had a short time to be able to do it, so... We have our team selected, all ready to go. Gibby has our lineup all set up. It looks great. And I'm so, already in front of the gym. And of course, you're already in front of the gym and your phone's ringing. I really oh, hope no, Nimona doesn't phone. try to cause any trouble. It's not, the, it's not a phone. It's, uh, I'm pretty sure that someone coming. At me. Oh, God. So right someone's there. coming. All right. Where is the gym? Go up that elevator. God, there's an elevator. Okay, hold on. You gotta get off my right up. So, right, there we go. Let's do it. Yeah, here we go. Yep, here we go. Okay. The elevator! Grid tunnel. Through the mountain. But here we go. Okay. We are on our way over. Alright. So, now we're going to be over here. I wonder what our challenge is going to be for this one. Okay, yeah, oh, here we go. Hmm? Let's, let's go ahead and do the question of the day. Oh, uh, Vivi, something's going on with your microphone. Is that- Your is audio this, is- Is this better? Uh, try again. Is this better? You're still buzzing a little bit, but it's better than what it was when it was at a sit still. It was starting to buzz pretty bad. Oh, okay, sorry. But I am very sorry. Day. Okay, do you have one? I was gonna put one of the other people on the call that, on the spot. Oh, really? Now you're gonna have them ask a question. Yep. Oh boy. Hey, Gibby. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. You pick the question of the day. Oh gosh. Right, we're leading to Pokemon. I don't necessarily all... have to. I'm going to. I'm challenging myself. <laughs> I love it. All the Pokemon. Which one would you say would be able to? Mm, that was a stupid one. <laughs> Best at hide and seek. Oh, that's a good one. I'm gonna go first I'll and say, say Ditto. I would actually say Ke Kecleon. I think those two are pretty... Pretty, pretty close. Common. Yeah. Because yeah, Ditto there's can also... be literally any Pokemon and Kecleon can literally be invisible. True. And then there's also uh, Zoraora and... and Zoraora as well. Yeah. And basically anything that can use the move Imposter can basically become another yeah. Pokemon. But yeah. Also, also, Evie, your microphone is still buzzing. I wish I don't know why it's doing that. I think that's that. my actual computer. Though. You think? It, oh, your computer is yeah, waking out. Yeah, okay. that's my computer. Well, we're we'll trying to live it with buzzes. it then. We'll try our best. It's a little bit. Unfortunately, it's a little bit much. Hold on, let me try. On my end, at least, turning it down just a tear. There we go. Because it's making it a little loud on my end, even for your voice for some reason. Like, you're going from just usually whispering that I usually hear you to, like, Hey, you guys! <laughs> Electric company! <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright. So, ready? Yep. Alright, here we go. Um, Volt and Falusa, I'm late, late, I'm late. For a very important date. Oh, hi. 
All these people have their own jobs, too. Ah, uh, Kofu, wait. Oh, he got away. How am I supposed to return this to him now? Oh, look, convenient. Oh, hey, you're here as the gym challenger, right? Yep. I knew it. Of course you are. That big man just left. That just left is Kofu, leader of the Kaskarafa gym. He's one, I swear. He has a bit of a childlike side to him, and today he runs off to the market without his wallet. He'll be in big trouble without it. That's where you come in, a kind gym challenger. Would you please take Kofu's wallet to him? Yes. Of course I would. I would do that even without it being a challenge. You're too kind. <laughs> You're too kind. I'd, and I'd give you a gym badge right now if I could. Here's his wallet. I'm counting on you. This is going to count for my challenge, right? You don't have to do anything else after this? Hopefully. Just return the guy's wallet. Oh, it's a little bit of that wallet. That is cute. That is. To, to deliver it to him at the market in Porto Miranda. Okay. This could be your gym test here. If you do this for, for me, you pass. I was headed to the Porto Miranda market. We, you just told us that. It's on the other side of the desert to the west. Be careful, though. There are many dangerous Pokemon in the desert. Okay. We've already been there. <laughs> We've been there already. Oh, okay. my character is not liking the sandstorm right now. So, we gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go. Let's see, where are we need to go here? Uh, let's see. So we gotta go, I think... They said through the desert? Oh, wait, we can... We can... Uh... Oh, wow, way over here! Wait, we can fly here! Yeah. Because <laughs> we kind of cheated the system and got a little bit here ahead of time. Because we're trying to... We're desperate to try to get me at least a water-type, um... Encounter. So we went ahead and tried to get... Skip ahead on our encounters. And that's where we ended up having to use one of our lives. <laughs> Unfortunately. But... We did okay. We got there in the end. Right, let's see... Go this way. Found it. Uh, let's go ahead and mark that. Is that destination? There we go. Okay, so it's that direction. Okay. Aha! I see a lighthouse! There's a Grimer. No thanks. Bye. Let's go ahead and track down person. Alright, let's see if we can find oh, I just, him. I just dumped all the way down. Oh, you just jumped all the way down? I jumped part of the way, and then I just decided to just skirt through. Yeah, Alright, let's see. Can jump he is. There we go. Okay. See. Oh, he does not look happy. Vault of Elusive, where? Where in the world? You look confused. What is up with what is up with your beard? Where in the world is my wallet? Fancy that. Without my wallet, I won't be able to get today's hot item. I'll get bought up by somebody else. I'll get bought up by somebody else. Aw. Don't worry, old man Kofu. I'll run and look for it right now. You don't need to go that far. What do you want? Oh man, Kofu's in the middle of some super duper important ingredient buy-in. If you're thinking about trying to interrupt him, then I, his best apprentice, will have to stop you. Might have to fight you. So do you have something super important to say to us busy folks or what? This is super important. Super important, eh? Well, we'll see about that. Maybe a battle will shut your mouth. You're uh, so rude! Mm-hmm. <laughs> One head, we like to call Yep. Well, his name is Hugo. Hugo, ha! Hugo, Hugo. <laughs> Hugo, Hugo. 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 Alright, Juniper. Let's teach this guy a lesson. Let's go ahead and use Horn. Ooh, pizza. Fancy! So, that was a fancy move. Yeah. No, see? I don't- I didn't use- it's not a move, it's a uh, ability. It- Nice! It laid, uh, it, it made grassy terrain. Oh, nice! That is so, awesome! Let's go! Little by little. That is cool. Launcher, uh, let's keep the current Pokemon in play. 
get Would you bite kill? It's and dangerous. Bit Let's get rid of you. Bite three times in a row. First few times it made my Pokemon. It did, what did it do? It made Which? my oh. Pokemon. Oh dear. That's cool that you actually could ca have just add cat grassy terrain as you hop in. Oh no, it's not when I hop in, it's when I get hit. Oh, when you get hit. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Chuck, so let old man Khufu down. Maybe if you weren't such a jerk. Oh, I got money. Ooh, got a lot of money. Dang it, that backfired and now my wallet's empty too. <laughs> hey, step right up and tell me what's all the ruckus about over here. I have your wallet, sir. Oh man, Khufu, this kid's got something to say to you. What's that now? A customer for little old walletless, moneyless me? What can I do for you? You forgot this. Instead of I have your wallet, you forgot this. You return Kofu's wallet to him. Oh, the loser, my wallet! Say so what now? My lobby staffer sent you out here to bring it to me. <laughs> That's a huge help. Thanks for coming all this way. I guess I should apologize for my little apprentice, too. Hope he didn't bother you too much. Not really. I, I wipe the floor with him. He's over there, over there, over there. I'm sorry about your launcher, by the way. I launched it clear across the plot, clear across the board. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not my own. Oh, I, I'm, oh, I love it. Let's see. Yeah. There's something to hear at the Porto Miranda auction that we really want to get our hands on. So, as you can imagine, we were both a bit worked up to find that I forgot my wallet. Yeah. Ladies and gents, you won't want to miss this. Here comes today's last item. Hmm? Face draws of the main event. I have here the legendary Wakami Seaweed of the Hoenn region. Do I have any takers? Bone of Alusa. I don't even have to touch it. I can see it. Got the springy texture of seaweed chock full of nutrients. I had taken this guy's cooked. And just look at it. Look at how it catches the light and shines so brightly. Oh, and that rich, fresh aroma of something plucked straight out of the ocean. I need to get my hands on some of that. I mean, fish tank. A fish tank, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's one of those particular... Th yep, it's one of those particular things. You have to have that kind of particular love for that kind of thing. Like, there's that fishy smell. Like, me, I kind of am okay with it for the most part, because, you know, I, I'm in California. We get a lot of that smell here. <laughs> In certain places. Anyway, sorry, Gibby, I cut you off. What were you saying? Are you good? Just me. It's like, as someone who has been to pretty much every ocean uh, available to mankind, uh, it, it have a stink. It definitely have a stink. Yep. It definitely does. Like I said, it's one of those things where, like, um, if you're used to it, it's not as bad, kind of thing. Like, if you deal with it almost every day, it's kind of, you know, meh, whatever. But, like, obviously, if you're not used to it, like, if you come from, like, the, the actual middle of the country, then it's like, oh, oh, God, what the hell is that? It's like, that's fish. <laughs> I come from Louisiana, and seafood big there. Ah, oh, nice. What'd you say, uh, Gibby? That, my friend, is fish. Fish, yep. <laughs> but my favorite kind of fish is shell. Okay. Actually, my favorite is actually my favorite dish. Actually, that's prepared is uh, um, teriyaki salmon. So oh, my favorite good. dish mm -hmm. is a good old-fashioned crawfish boil. Ooh, that's pretty good. Gibby, what's yours? Chowder. Chowder. Yes, clam chowder is good. <laughs> Demon. Is he there is he oh. hiding? <laughs> what what's your it. Yeah, what's your what's your favorite uh seafood dish? If you can have seafood, I forget. I can. You can, okay. So what's your favorite seafood dish? Shrimp. Just shrimp. Just shrimp. What basically not shrimp? even popcorn shrimp, just like shrimp shrimp uh, cocktail as as basically. As, as long as it's not coconut. Oh, ah, okay. Not nice, coconut right. shrimp. I can get behind that. Mm. Yeah. I like I like popcorn shrimp, I like the big old shrimp. Shrimp this is good. Be, shrimp is delicious no matter what, unless it's coconut. Mm. Shrimp go scampi is also good. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's right. why uh, I like to go to Red Lobster, 
during mm, the yep. Unlimited Trip Fest. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Sadly, it's expensive as shit. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's see if we can keep going here. Let's see. Now listen, kid, if you want to challenge me at this, at the Cascarafa, that's so weird to read. Jim, you're gonna need some some smarts. Hold on one second, I'm gonna actually move my monitor. Why is it? Because I'm realizing I'm reading it from a side view. It's making it actually hard for me to read. Ah. The perspective is really weird, so I'm reading it from the side. So now it's in front of me. Now it's much better. You're going to need some smarts. And this is the perfect place to test you. Get the winning bid on that seaweed for this old man. Okay, I'll give it my What's best so? shot. I'll give him my best shot. There's, you already know the ins and outs of auctions at such a young age. Uh, we'll figure it out. There's something else, kid. Here you are, fighting funds for the auction. Be smart with it, and win this old man that seaweed. Oh, okay 50, then. Thousand. Okay, fifty thousand. You just handed us all that money. I just realized they have the unlimited trip now, and I can't go get it. Oh no! Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, it's legendary Wakami seaweed will start at ten thousand. Oh god, uh, I'm going to bid 15. 15. Do I hear more? 20,000, 30,000. 35. Do I hear more? Gotta go 35? Yeah. 35. What a big spender! What in the world? Hey, we got it for a lot cheaper than I thought we were gonna get it for. Yeah. Little lady over here for just 35000 <laughs> Hey, how about that? I saved you 20000 Have fun. Not actually 20000 be 15000 That was amazing. You put those grown-up bidders to shame with your bidding skills. Thank you for winning that seaweed for this old man. I'll be taking it now, if you don't mind. Yeah, you have the money. Legendary Wakami seaweed. And the money back, too. The seaweed's a great catch. I'd be feeling low as a seabed if I failed to get my hands on it. If there's any of that money I get, you feel free to keep it as a tip. Jesus, thank oh, you! Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can even use it to try your hand at the auction again if you like. Alrighty, I'm gonna head back to Kaskarafa Gym now. Oh man, Kofu's gonna prepare a real good battle for you. See you there! Nice! We, we, we got money and we also now can auction thousand. if you want to. Gave us so much freaking money. <laughs> he gave like it seriously, to us. Be for free. just gave it to us for free. And we got nice three thousand. And we also got well. extra. He got extra money and prize money. How the hell does that work? Okay. All right. Awesome. Well, we just need to work our way back over now. Back over here. We just need to fly back. Cool. I love the fast travel in this. Thank God I they give it too. to you so damn early. Yeah. Don't have to worry about freaking flight stuff or anything like that. Like, make sure one of your Pokemon does fly and fly here and blah blah blah. Why is a great move? Don't get me wrong. Out of the moves that you get for, like, traveling, it's a great move. It's just annoying to have to make sure you have your flying Pokemon in your party and all that fun stuff. Ha! I stealthy. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and run back in here and go back to the the gym. I'm gonna just use tiny a potion on my Pokemon. Are you gonna use a potion on it? Yeah. Did you, did it get hurt a little bit? Yeah, cause uh, it 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 had to get Wait. bit three times. Why are you using a potion if you can just heal up at the Pokemon Center? I didn't want. I already went towards the gym. Oh, you already made up there. <laughs> Yeah. Oh goodness. Also, these guys are a little bit creepy. That guy in the corner over there is just like, just like constantly has the same smile. Are you sure you're not wearing a mask, buddy? God, it's very concerning. They all look like they're robots. I mean, there is actually a robot to my left, so it would not surprise me. <laughs> if they were all robots. Let's see, what do I have as far as actually items oh, go really quick? Apparently I'm going down. I have more than enough super potions, we're good. What? I'm going down an elevator. Hey. You're going down an elevator? Oh god. Hey, Gibby! Are you still here? I just heard you yay and I was like... 
Also, I would like to apologize for the horror show that is that picture that I put in your art chat. <laughs> I love it. It was so good. I love that was the great. Source of Italian man. I love it. I love the stuff you've been putting in my in my art chat. It's been great. That one comic, I will not say it because we are recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one comic was an actual conversation I was a part of with a bunch of other people in the fandom. I just put it over the the characters. Oh, that's so great. And, that was perfect. And there was an ending part to that. Oh, hey! And I'll say this out of context. My ending part to that comic that I added in the colored version, I'm uh -huh. calling a priest. Oh, I love that. I'm <laughs> calling a priest. <laughs> Oh, God, it's so good. Yeah, now, nah, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, it's okay. It's better you don't know for YouTube. <laughs> it's it's all the people. better that you don't know. Yep. All right, anywho, uh, let's see. Hassel needs to talk to us. It's the art teacher. Well, now. You appear to be progressing well on your gym circuit. Yep. Oh, hello. Who are you? What's this now? Is this that kid I've been hearing so much about? Hey, kiddo, I heard you're, like, way good at battling, yeah? Uh, yeah. <laughs> You've got some spirit, Big Shot. Big Shot? This young lady would be Rika. Huh? Mm -hmm. Big Shot. Big Shot, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a lady. I am sorry. <laughs> That's me, Rika, here at your service. I am very sorry I gendered you. <laughs> And hey, I know I'm pretty, but no need to get intimidated or anything. I love your outfit, by the way. She's a little... Farce... Ah, Gibby, help. This word. Farcical. Farcical, thank you. I'm like sitting here looking at it, I'm like, what is that? <laughs> Farcical, shall we say. But, like myself, she is a member of the Elite Four. You're a member of the Elite Four, Mr. Art Teacher? Why are you teaching in art class? <laughs> what? I wasn't trying to be funny. Anyway, hmm. Tell you something, kiddo. You look fun, like interesting, at a glance, anyway. Actually, she's one of our Academy's esteemed students. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that checks out. But the battles you face at these gyms really ratchet up the further you go. Indeed, your average trainer abandons the challenge at roughly this point. But not you, right, kiddo? I mean, it depends. If you guys wipe out my Pokemon, I might have some problems. See, when you hit the champion assessment, you show these gyms what you got. Best of fortunes to you. Yeah, I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous at all. <laughs> okay. this <laughs> first. Oh, goodness. Now, the music word is assessment. Test. All the words that freak me out. <laughs> okay, anyway. Hey, uh, next time they'll say quiz. You, I can tell what form of education you've had by the amount of fear you have in the word test. Yeah. Pop quiz! <laughs> ah, yes, the PTSD of a pop quiz. Yep. I heard you reunited Kufu as well. Yes, we did. <laughs> He gave us money. Oh, my back. oh no, my can't back. be you, okay? My back, my back, my back, and my back. <laughs> oh no! I just slipped out of my chair and hit the seat. No! Ow. Gibby, are you okay? I'm getting insane. <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. I'm I always feel. <laughs> I hit it and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely feel that same pain if I was in your shoes. I'm so sorry. <sighs> no one would feel it quite as much as Tina. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, let's see. We're talking about chair pain? Uh, me slipping out of my chair and hitting my back on the I've done that twice in my old chair. What I have done, I've done the stupid thing where I've tried to sit in my chair, but I totally missed the chair. And I'm yep. hitting my back on the bottom of it because, yep. you know, I idiotically missed my chair. 
I did that at work once, and that was funny because everybody whipped and looked, and they're like, "Are you okay?" I'm like, "Give, give me, give me a minute." <laughs> Well, I both assess if I'm fine and also contemplate my life choices. <laughs> we definitely do be like that. Yep. Yep, it does. Alright, let's see. I can't thank you enough, though this is a little irregular. Please consider your gym test pass. Are you ready to challenge gym leader Kufu, the surfing chef? Yes, please. Surging. Surging chef. It's not like, it's not like surfing, sorry. I read yep, it wrong. It makes sense, because he's a water gym team. He's a water yep. gym leader. Yep. I love that they actually gave these gym leaders different jobs. Because it always makes you wonder, does the gym leader just sit there and wait for someone to show up? But all mm -hmm. these gym leaders have separate jobs. They do different things, which I think is really cool. Like, the first one we fought had a bakery. The second one we fought was... Um, what was the, the gardener, second one that we fought? The guard... Oh, he was an artist. Oh, yeah, artist. The second one we fought was a professional artist, like a sculptor. And then the third one we fought was a streamer. Yes, a literal streamer. Like we're talking like YouTube. Uh, not YouTube, we're like, you know, like TikTok or the, the, all that stuff. And also now this one's a chef. So it's really cool to actually see these people actually having other jobs and then stopping those other jobs to do this stuff. Yeah. Kind of like it's a side job instead. It's kind of good. It kind of adds to the whole, like, um all-encompassing uh, world of Pokemon. It's nice. Allow me to show you the battle court. So. I just like that. It's really cool. I agree. Also, this it's game in particular... Cool. This game in particular... It, like, food is a big thing with this game. Like, this is... Like, this game, like... Like, is very much just all about food. It seems Not like. all about food, but all about sandwiches. Oh, for sure sandwiches. Sourdough loves the sandwiches. Sourdough, boah! <laughs> <laughs> we love sourdough. Yeah. Aw. Oh, man, Pukufu played with us. Come on. I'll be honored if you would try a new item for my restaurant's menu as well. Sorry, everybody. I've got some business to take care of as gym leader real quick. I'm keeping someone waiting, you see. Please forgive me. I need to do this first. Okay. At least he has his priorities. Yeah, he's very much well liked by his community, which is nice. Yeah. And he doesn't get upset being called old man. Yeah, he's probably like everyone's grandpa. He's probably well, happy with it. It's probably a holdover from its actual language where it's an endearing term. Yeah. Because that's the thing is that, like, like, obviously. So this is from. It's based off of Portugal. Is what it's based off of. The region is based off of Portugal, but it's also by Japanese language as well. So it's kind of a little bit of a muddled thing, kind of a little bit, because in Japanese culture, the older you are, the wiser you are. You have a lot of knowledge to give to younger people, so it's very much respect your elders to a very high degree. And um, it's kind of the same thing goes for Portugal, too. They really much respected their elders. So same thing like that as well. My family was a lot like that, too. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but yeah, basically, like, he's kind of almost like the equivalent of a village chief or a village, like, you know, like, like, he's somebody of very high regard, mainly because, like, you know, he's a good person and also because, you know, he's also an old man. He has a lot of wisdom to pass on to people. So it's pretty cool. Especially the wisdom okay. of good food. Exactly. Uh, oh, it's such good food. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, I'll tell you guys about that later as well, because the cool part is, since I, since my family came from Portugal, I recognize some of the foods that one of my aunts used to make all the time. And I recognize it from this game because they do have little food bars, food, food stations you could go to to buy some food from, like, inspired by, you know, this region that they base it off of. And so I recognize quite a bit of them, and I was like, oh, I was like, I know what this is! <laughs> you can ask Evie, I was like, now I'm hungry, damn it. <laughs> yep. But yeah, it was great. Anyway, let's let's continue. Hey, uh, step right up. I've been waiting for you. Thanks for the help over at Porto Miranda. You did a fine job. Now that I've got that legendary seaweed, I can make some real quality dishes with it. I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to make an accent on it, but I've already had this experience of trying to do role plays with this. It's so hard to read. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, let's see. 
But don't be- don't expect me to go easy on you in battle here. It's already hard enough for me to read as it is. <laughs> and I'm starting off with my, uh, grass type that's gonna set down the grassy terrain. So. Oh, I should've- I should've set up my sleeper. Oh, well, it's okay. At the auction- at the auction, we battle with buying and selling. At my gym, we battle a more traditional sense. Moving tactics, ever-changing as a raging sea. I'ma serve you a full course water type Pokemon. Don't try to eat them though. I'm gonna bet you probably have a Gyarados hiding in there. Probably. Gym leader Kofu, here we go. Oh, one of these things. I think that's also a second no type. <laughs> no thanks. I feel a bit indebted to you, but don't expect me to go easy on you just because of that. Mold breaker breaks the mold. Oh, I don't like you. I don't like mold you at all. Breaker, break the mold. I'm gonna break the mold. Gonna break, break, break the mold. Okay, we're not doing leech seed first. We're gonna try and get this thing out of here as fast as we can. Or in leech. There we go. Thank God. I have a little bit of PTSD with this thing because I ran into it while we were running around in the oceans out here. It was way over level for me, and I luckily ran away from it, but it scared the crud out of me because it came out of nowhere. <laughs> So I was like, oh no, it's this thing. Uh, Wug Trio. Oh, Wug Trio. Okay, um, I could continue to sweep with this Pokemon, but do I want to? Let's take a look at what I got. So we have Luxie as well, who could probably shock things as well. We have Wug Trio. Probably not a good idea. Boots as well is a good one for fine wet seed bomb. Each seed. Uh, Happy is my sleep character. I'm already as on well. his last Pokemon. Ah, uh, because I'm, I'm sitting here thinking. <laughs> thinking and plotting. Bug Trio. Which is not actually an ultra form of Doug Trio. And <laughs> a Crabominable. Oh, he has a Crabominable. Oh! You mean the thing that I could evolve my Pokemon into? Yep. Shit, that means it's an ice type. Crap. So, I don't know why. But I see this man, my brain registers Eggman for some reason. Eggman? Like I just am that. the Eggman! <laughs> Alright, great. I'm gonna switch to Luxie, because that's gonna help out. Wait, like, I don't know how to put it. Just... I, don't, I don't know how to put it. My brain registers, like, like Eggman's voice, not Eggman's personality. Oh, oh okay. That I understand. The tides ebb and flow. It's time for a raging tidal surge. Okay. Hopefully this is gonna work. Because this okay. is probably going to be his guy that's going to transform. Well, if it uh, is Eggman, it's when he lost the demo. So when he was Mr. Tinker. Yeah. That I can believe. Yeah, because I was sitting here like, Eggman, are you sure? I mean, I have heard him kind of do go with the phrase pitch voice, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah. And I one shot. I it. made the iMac. I made the iPhone. <laughs> I made the iMac. I made the. You made the iPhone. Oh, I'm going to kill you. That's my best. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> bad, I can barely memorize that. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> All I pretty much memorize mostly is, oh no, he's got a Nokia. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, I love it. And we done. I'm so glad I brought Luxie, because that would have been bad <laughs> if it was a grass type. Yep. Bye bye. It didn't use any grass nice. type moves against me, though. Did not use any what? It didn't use any grass type moves against me, or water type moves against me. Mm. I just didn't oh, know what it oh, had, so type. I didn't. Uh, ice type moves. I didn't even give it a chance to. I killed it in one <laughs> shot. <laughs> Juniper wants to learn charm. No, we're not doing that. Keep that charm to yourself. Like, you just needed the gym leader. Like this is the voice that pops in my head. If you don't mind, if I lead is. Uh, sure. That's up to you. Oh, hold on. No, uh, yeah, go ahead and read it. Oh, the loser. Yeah. A lively one, aren't you? A little too lively, if I, I do say so myself. <laughs> That's not Eggman, but I like that better. <laughs> it kind of sounded like an old man grandpa. It's perfect. Yeah. 
in a good way. You know what I mean? Kind of like, kind of like you know, like your favorite favorite grandpa that likes to cook, exactly. like you know, meat on the grill. That that kind of grandpa. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you gotta deal with what you're doing. No, you're good. <laughs> a loss of ref uh, a loss as refreshing as the air at the morning market. I'm just like a hapless little magic carp to you, eh? Flopping all willy nilly about that. <laughs> <laughs> You got me good, I tell ya. What a great catch you are. D don't hit on me, I'm like 12. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I am a child. I think I need an adult. I am an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a master fisher, y'all held on tight till the last second and reeled in a victory. Now it's time to hand over a gym badge to you. That's all you're getting, buddy. <laughs> now it's time to hand you over to the authorities. <laughs> and let's get a real good photo together using a pose I've wanted to try out for a while. Sir, red flags, code red, code red. We got a code red. <laughs> I keep worse. making these jokes with this gosh darn game. I just, oh, that's actually kind of cute. Yeah. <laughs> that's very cute. Cast Karafa Jim defeated. That is adorable! Okay, okay. He is literally just a giant child. Okay. A yeah. man, man baby. A man baby. Let's see. With four gym badges in your possession, Pokemon up to level 40 will be easier to catch and they'll listen to you when you ask them to do things. It's always helpful. I actually have a fun story about man babies. Oh, God. All right. So. My family was having a nice, lovely chat amongst each other, you know, like you do. Uh huh. And all of a sudden, my mom brought up the fact, like, you know, I think it's kind of funny that most of my favorite characters in TV are like big man children. It's like, mm -hmm. you do know who you married, yes, mom? <laughs> and I looked over at my dad, who was making one of those, uh, straw torpedoes, you know, when you rip off half the wrapper and then shoot it at someone? Yep. <laughs> he did that to me as I was talking. It's like, you saw who you married, yes, mother? She's like, yeah. And then I did the same thing right back at my dad. And she's like, yeah, two of a kind. That realized him when you go, oh my god, I do have a type. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My mom is like, yes, man children. I definitely know the feeling where I had that realization. <laughs> My mom is essentially the, I can fix him, but I won't. Yeah, it's like, do I want to? Yeah. But yeah, no, nah, I'm, it's very much funny with me. Is that like, as far as like the whole thing, like the whole realizing what your type is, and it's totally not what you expect it to be. You're like, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, so yeah. I have an appreciation for man children because of my dad. He's like, he may be, he may be a big kid all the time. But he's also one of the most, uh, he's also one of the most terrifying people I know, because he has the boots mm -hmm. of God. Well, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, you know what I mean? He's like, usually very happy, very kid-like and all kind of stuff. And then the instant that it changes to serious, you're like, oh, fuck, what have I done? Yeah, what makes <laughs> it funny is, it's not just scary to me. People who meet my dad for the first time, if he yells, everyone in the room is like, where's my dad? I would probably be running off and hiding in a corner somewhere. <laughs> Honestly, I'd be like, <laughs> It's just Scare. funny to realize, it's like, ah, I'm not the only one terrified of my father. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. But yeah, let's see here. Let me throw this in too, as an extra special bonus. I'm sure you're... You can make good use of it. No, I won't, because it's an ah, it's a DM. Can't use it. Chilling water. What does it do? User attacks the target by showering it with water, and it's so cold that it saps the target's power. Felt that. This is also lowers attack power. <laughs> okay. Problem with that is we can't use TM, so it's useless to us. Alrighty, it's about time I headed back to my restaurant and got prepping for the next wave. You come back and see me again now, you hear? I wonder if we can actually do that. Like, if actually visit the gym leader's, like, actual restaurants and actually walk in and talk to them. That would be cool. I don't know if that's something we could do in here. I don't think so. I think it's only just everything in the stores are just like instantly like they're just shops. Oh no. It's Nimona. Nimona. It's Nimona. Oh, hola. Hola. Uh, como estas? Bonjour. <laughs> Caught you just as you finished up here, huh? Work. That puts you four badges now, right? Man, that's awesome. 
I can't believe you're halfway through your gym journey already. Your efforts are bearing so much fruit so quickly. That makes me want to just challenge you to a battle right here, right now. Oh, Don't please. There. But I'm gonna have to wait. Oh, thank Ooh. God. Because I put my together my team of Pokemon specially to take on the gym leader. Dang it. That's where I was at. Yeah. No, I have Pokemon better with you right now. When I battle you, I want to do it under the best possible conditions, which means this time, I've got to ask for a rain check. Ah, uh, this is the worst timing ever. Sorry. Forgive me! Forgive me! <laughs> you are forgiven! Thank I'm God sure we dodged a bullet. I'm sure we can find it in our heart to forgive you for not challenging. Would you like to try yeah. to get Thank some, uh, God. new encounters? We could try! Before the next Let's episode? Let's see, how long is- Yeah, so how long have we been going, by the way, for this episode? About 30 minutes. Okay, that's roughly around the time we usually have is like 30 to 40 minutes. So we could probably see if we could get another encounter. So let's try to get uh, that encounter in the sea. Oh, in the water? Okay, that's right, because we weren't able to, to, to do it in this water because it was too high a level for us before. Yeah. I'm... Why are why am I not able to word right now? Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> I I flew to uh, I have been very tired. The, where the market was. It's the middle of the market, okay. Best Providence area. So we gotta go two. over here. Did we get a Pokemon in Best, Best Providence area too? Did we? I don't remember. We should have probably put where we got these Pokemon on our on our uh yeah. on our list of Pokemon that we have. <laughs> we did not think that through. <laughs> if you really need to, you can just scrub through your footage. This is true. Yeah, I can't remember whether or not we did Area 2. Since we don't know for sure if we did the Providence Let's Area Providence 2. Providence Area 2, we yeah, we did. We did? Okay. I got a Murkrow. Oh, we got the Murkrow from there. That's where you got it? Okay. Let's see here. Alright, I'm gonna switch around my Pokemon really quick because as much as I love my sauce buck, I'd like to not die. <laughs> Even though it's, like, strong enough to handle it, I also don't want to kill the Pokemon either. Alright, here we go. So we need to go to where the water is, which is right off the coast over here. I think we get two water again. That is a giant burp! Alright, let's I don't want the burp. see. I guess I'll get my encounter first. Okay, I'll let you go first. Right. Okay, if I run into anything nice. before then, that's not gonna count for me, so I'll let you go first so I can check you. Okay. Oh wait, no, that's Ready? the North Caldean. North Paldean Sea. Okay. Yeah, make sure you're in the right area first. Yeah. Oh, okay. we get three of them, actually. Oh, nice, okay. Alright, All right. so, Close are you ready? Eyes. Okay. All right, Keep the eye out. Okay. Okay. You're hitting a wall, so turn around. Go. We hit something! Ooh! Another water. Got a weasel. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna about to head into uh, the water myself. So it's level fifty one. Oh, maybe we shouldn't be here yet. So maybe we should leave before something bad happens. Are you gonna be able to run away from that? Um, find out. Okay, I'm nervous. I I'm gonna fly wonder. back to port. I have a Pokemon with water absorber. You're gonna sit here and try to catch it? No. Oh, okay. You're just gonna try and use water absorb to run. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> so, we don't get the encounter today. That's fine. But I'd rather take that over dying. <laughs> oh my god, that was scary. Oh my goodness. Oh, hello. Uh, hi. Okay, bye. <laughs> Giraffe or I just came and ran into view. What about... Are you trying to get out of there now? Yeah. I guess we're just going we to have to go to this, uh... To the next place. Which, we can go ahead and fly there. Okay, where or, are we going uh... to? Oh, wait. 
another side. How far are we going? I'm trying to it see your is... screen. <laughs> We're going over here. Oh, that's the next place is Starfall Street over there. Oh god, the poison crew. Yeah, we are not ready for them yet. We still gotta level our guys up. Yep, three levels. Yep, we gotta level our guys up to get I'm there. I'm gonna go ahead and fly over there, but I, I guess this is a good place to end it. Yeah, for sure. This is definitely a good place to end it. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget to leave a comment in the comments section for the question of the day. Which, Gibby, what was the question of the day again for Pokemon? Out of all generations, which one would be best at hide and seek? All right, sounds good. Which Pokemon from all the generations would be best at hide and seek? So, there we go. I kind of like that. That's a fun one. All right. So, we will catch you guys later. Have a good one, everyone. Bye. Bye.